Hey learners, welcome to Connected. Dear students, today we will read a short story named How the Dog Found Himself a New Master and learn how the dog who was fed up and sick with his life finds himself a new master. From this story, we will get to learn a lot of new words and how sentences are formed. Now, let's get into the story and everyone must pay attention while I teach it. In the first part of the story, it tells us about the traditional life of dogs and how they used to roam freely and enjoyed their freedom without any limitations. But then, one day, there happened to be a dog who hated this kind of stray life and was always terrified at the sight of stronger animals. Note the meanings of the words and then we shall move to the next part. The next paragraph basically tells us that the dog thought about his situation and then decided to work as a slave for someone who was superior to anyone else on the earth. And then he sets off hoping of finding such a master. Students, what do you think? Will the dog find his master? Let's find it out in the next part. After a long stroll, he met one of his relatives, a wolf, who not only looked ferocious but also gave a frightening look. The wolf questioned the dog what he was up to. The dog then replied that he was in search of a master and if the wolf would like to be one. The wolf accepted the offer and the two went on together. Now let's move on to the next part. After covering a lot of ground, the wolf suddenly sniffed, moved quickly and hid himself in the bush. Seeing the unusual behavior from the wolf, the dog asked what the master was. The wolf worriedly answered that he had seen a bear who might eat them both. Students, the story is getting interesting part by part. Let's see. What happens next? After finding out that the bear was stronger than the wolf, he decided to approach the bear to work under him as a servant. The bear agreed to the offer without any hesitation and immediately after taking up service with the bear, they decided to search and hunt for cows to satisfy their hunger. Was bear the perfect master for the dog? Let's find out. After walking for some time, they finally found a group of cows, but as soon as they tried to proceed towards them, they heard a strange noise made by the cows. They noticed that the cows were screaming out loud and running here and there due to terror. We are slowly moving towards the end of the story. Let's find out what will happen next. As soon as the bear peeked from the behind of the tree to check what was going on, he hurriedly ran away into the forest. The bear then told the dog that those parts of the forest are ruled by the lion, who is the most powerful animal in the forest. On knowing that the lion is the strongest, he instantly left the bear to work for the lion. Let's find out if lion is really the strongest animal. The dog then approached the lion and asked him to be his master. The lion accepted the proposal and as a result, the dog started staying with the lion. The dog served the lion for ages and enjoyed his life. The dog had no worries and no one had the courage to even touch him. Everybody, concentrate. We are moving towards the end of the story. One day when the dog and the lion were wandering amidst 
high steep rocks the lion stopped surprisingly and roared out loud he struck the ground with his paws so forcefully that it created a hole on the mark the dog was stunned as at his behavior and asked if anything was affecting him the lion worriedly replied that he could see a man coming their way and they must flee from there to save their life hearing this the dog bid him farewell because he wanted to work for the strongest animal on the earth dear students only one more paragraph left let's find out what happens at last the dog then started serving the man this incident took place a long time ago but till today the dog is a man's most loyal servant so that marks the end of the story where we learned how a dog was at first ill pleased finds himself the strongest master and stays loyal to him for the rest of his lifetime the story also breaks down why a dog is known to be a man's most faithful servant let us revise the chapter and practice some fun exercises i expect answers from each one of you i will give you 5 minutes to get ready with your answers great job everyone excellent answers just what i had expected those who are still having some trouble can match the answers Let's move on to the next exercise. Pay attention while I dictate the answers and those who have already done should match it. Number 1, a dog. Number 2, his own master. Number 3, stronger than anyone else. Number 4 a wolf number 5 the bear number 6 stronger number 7 a lion number 8 afraid of man we learned about a lot of things in today's session thank you for cooperating and i hope you all had fun learning hey learners welcome back to connected In today's session we will learn a poem The Kite by Harry Ben. In this poem Harry Ben has described the beauty of a new kite when it flies in a clear sky. From this poem we will get to learn a lot of new words and a clear idea about similes figure of speech. So without further delay let's begin. Let's read the first stanza. How bright on the blue is a kite when it's new. With a dive and a dip, it snaps its tail. In the first stanza, the poet has described when a new kite flies on a clear blue sky, it fascinates the viewer with its beauty. The kite moves in its own unique way. It is a mixture of a dive and a dip. portraying the beauty of a kite flying on a clear sky i hope everyone understands what the poet is trying to convey in the first stanza now let's move on to the next stanza then soars like a ship with only a sail as over tides of wind it rides climbs to the crest of a gust and pulls then seems to the rest as wind falls the poet has compared the sudden rise and fall in a kite's movement with the flow of the wind is just like a ship 
which rides the waves in the ocean and as soon as the wind slows down both comes to rest the comparison of one thing with another thing of a different kind is known as a simile this is a figure of speech and is commonly used in poems moving on to the next stanza pay attention when i read it when string goes slack you wind it back and run until a new breeze blows and it swings fill and up it goes when the wind is slow the flyer has to wind it back to avoid entangling it and has to wait until the wind gets its pace back and as soon as a new breeze blows the kite again starts soaring the poet has used the phrase fills its wings to compare it with the wing of a bird let's read the next stanza how bright on the blue is a kite when it's new but a rack thing you never will see when it flaps on a string in the top of a tree everybody appreciates the beauty of a kite when it floats in the clear sky but when the kite gets stuck on the top of a tree it gives a worn out look the poet has described how a kite stuck on the top of a tree loses all its value and we might never see it flap along with the blow of the wind now let's solve some exercises to have a clearer idea of the poem everybody write the answers in a sheet and i will give you 10 minutes I hope everybody is done writing the answers. Please match the answers. Teaching bright students like you guys is always a great experience. I hope you guys too had a great experience. That's it for today's class. We will meet in the next one.